is the experiment about, sir? And why did you choose peas as objects of his experiment? Well, garden peas have several varieties of observable and contrasting characteristics, and they reproduce by self-pollination. By deliberately crossing two different varieties, that is, transferring the pollen of one to the pistil of another, he was able to follow the inheritance of a single, easily distinguishable trait. He even made exact counts of the number of plants bearing a specific trait. It was from this quantitative data that Mendel deduced the principles governing inheritance. Mendel was able to produce hybrid offsprings for several contrasting traits by cross-pollination. For example, he crossed a tall garden pea with the short one and a yellow-seeded plant with the green-seeded plant. In each case, he observed that the resulting first-generation hybrids, denoted by the symbol F1, showed traits of only one parent. In his experiment on plant height, for example, all the F1 hybrids were tall, and on seed color, all F1 hybrids are yellow. He called those traits that appeared in the first generation as dominant, and the traits that did not appear as recessive. However, when Mendel allowed F1 generation to self-pollinate to produce the second hybrid generation, or F2, both the dominant and recessive traits reappeared. Moreover, both traits appeared in a constant proportion. About three-fourths of the plants showed the dominant traits, and one-fourth showed the recessive traits. So, his study tells us that we can predict inheritance traits of living organisms. That's right. Mendel concluded that sex cells, or gametes, of garden peas contains factors that included in the appearance of a certain trait. These factors Mendel was referring to were later called genes by a Danish biologist, Wilhelm Ludwig Johansen, in 1909. Sir, what did he do with his discoveries? Well, Neil, he reported all his findings to the Natural History Society, which then published his findings and interpretation in a scientific journal in 1866. His contemporaries, however, did not appreciate his work. It was 16 years later, in 1900s, when the European botanists Hugo Vries, Carl Korens, and Erich von Schermark rediscovered his work and credited him for pioneering this field of genetics. Unfortunately, his achievement was fully recognized only after 50 years. His little experiment about garden peas led to the discipline of genetics and brought about Mendel's principles of inheritance. Well, better late than never, this his work was eventually recognized.